Hello everybody, uh, 3rd of October 2017, I thought I would fire off a quick video here to show you my uh, one of my latest little treats. Uh, if you know me, if you follow me, I, you know that I do a lot of art and uh, Gundam models and stuff like that, but one of my favorite things to do is to customize them. And as you can see from my, like, my piles of toys here, uh, I like to combine all sorts of different kits and other items into different... Um, different creatures different you know monsters and stuff and uh i'm even working on zombie dolls and i just love doing this kind of goofy stuff um taking toys and customizing them cutting off parts you know gluing parts stuff like that one of my favorite lines uh that i have right now that i've, I've had for years now are these galador toys galador was a line that was produced in the early 2000s from uh from lego and they weren't very successful, I think, because they didn't represent much customization for LEGO fans. A lot of LEGO fans said, oh, these are just the same parts. You know, you can't really customize like you can with LEGO. Um, but what's cool about Galador, it's not only had its own little live action TV show that was pretty lame, but interesting nonetheless for its special effects and costumes and stuff. But the figures that they put out are absolutely fantastic and some of the best figures for customizing or for painting. <clears throat> one of the characters, this one here, this robot uh, from the same Galador line, I didn't customize them as much as I just cleaned them up, uh, added some, some, uh, uh, some uh, uh, water slide decals there and uh, washed them and did some different little bits of painting and gloss work and stuff like that. So. You can keep them kind of what you would what would seem to be like a straight build, or you can also do uh, pretty crazy things with them. I have probably about eight of these different figures. Here's a human from the figure line, and what I'm planning on doing is I've got two uh, two of these now, and these are the uh, Gorm figures. I think Gorm, and I've ordered because eBay has everything. I've ordered three more of these for a total of fifteen dollars with shipping. So these are only five dollars a piece. You'll find people who sell them for next to nothing because they don't think they're anything. But people tend to remember this series. Now, of course, in the early to early 2000s, I was already living on my own with my future, you know, soon-to-be wife. So I didn't exactly, uh, wasn't growing up on these toys. I grew up in the 80s. But um, I wanted to unbox this one today that I got off of eBay. This was one of the first um, toys I've, I've paid for off of eBay that I, although I planned on using it for customization and for blending parts and for painting and stuff like that, I almost didn't want to take it out of the box simply because I've never had one. I mean, maybe when I bought these, I bought them in this box. I can't remember. I bought these so many years ago. I honestly don't remember when I got them, um, all the different ones that I have. I even have the big spaceship and all that, but I don't remember having the actual box, but it is, this background is familiar here and everything. So Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to unbox it and look at it because it's been a while since I've opened a brand new package if I can even remember one. And then my plan is to take this deluxe gorm and combine them with uh, four other gorms and I even have more parts for them here as well as a few other parts like from the human I might use. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm planning on making kind of like a giant spider-like creature which will uh, be more of an art project but it still promises to be a lot of fun. So uh, I wasn't quite sure how I should cut it. I'm thinking I should cut it along the bottom, and that way I can keep the plastic if I want to keep the box, you know, a bit. Um, luckily, this is not really hard to cut. It's not super strong plastic or anything. Um, but I'm really excited. It's been a while since I've had... Um, a lot of the toys I buy... Let me just explain it that way. A lot of toys I buy... When I get them off of eBay, I'm getting the ones from my youth or the ones that are fun to customize like these. And a lot of them I don't get in a package. I get them, you know, out of, out of box. They're sometimes in a rough shape, which I actually kind of prefer. It's like they've been used and played with. And, and also, if I'm going to paint one, I'm not going to spend $60 on some mint in-package toy. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm going to customize it anyway. I don't really see the point. Uh, I want to be careful, so I don't want to cut the plastic here as well. Oops, my blade came out. Um, so this, it's fun to get, it's fun when you get one with the actual package. Um, like I said, I don't remember buying these things in the store, but I must have at some point. 
Uh, for a while, when I was in my later teens, I worked at an actual thrift store for a while. But that, that was in the, the mid-90s, maybe? Early mid-90s? So I wouldn't have been buying these because these weren't released till 2002. So I can't, I can't remember where or when I might have got these guys. I might just go for it and then just save the backing board. I'm not. I'm like I said. I'm not worried about it. I don't. I don't buy toys to resell them. I don't collect them in that way. I get them strictly for their use um, if, as either memory pieces, like stuff that I had as a kid that I was able to find on eBay, or as something like this where I can customize them and have a lot of fun with them. Well, that was a hack job. Let's go ahead. Okay. Just go ahead and cut that off there. Um, well, whatever, let's, let me get some scissors here, and then the scissors will actually help just kind of slice through that. Kind of annoying, but it's also kind of nice to see, uh, nowadays everything is tied down with so many ties, like plastic ties. So there's the insert. Interesting looking. I can see though that if you were to buy them in the store, you would not. Wow, it's brand, brand spanking new. This is odd though. That looks a little bit beat up. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Uh, autofocus sometimes works and sometimes does not. It uh, looks a little beat up, but that's all right. That might just be from age of the rubber. Um, I don't remember if I have this actual part here, but that's fine. You've got the legs, as you can see here. This one is slightly different. Oh, he is a deluxe model. Um, oh, sorry, bump the camera. Uh, I've got parts like that. So everything is a little, just a little bit different. What's cool about them is, oh, and it's so, it's so like the joint. Oh, it's not, it is the same. That's not the side of the leg. Okay, cool. So it is, it does look the same. Um, but what's cool about them is you, it has very simple articulation, uh, especially compared to some of the Gundam models and other kits that I do like that. But what's so great about it is how, um, how tough the articulation is. It, it really seems to be holding up and as I paint them and customize them and give them some uh, gloss coats and stuff or, or even a flat coat I should say they really really the joints really really tighten up and the things can hold a pose like you wouldn't believe. So it's fantastic for um, it's, it's a really fantastic thing if you're wanting to customize a kit because they're absolutely great choice. So I'm going to put all this to the side that I can I like that it's just little rubber bands. I don't want all those twisty, I hate those twisty ties. I have, oh, and this one has the, the launcher arms, which I do remember. So I'm probably just missing a few bits out of my collection. I've got, as a lot of you out there, I've got a toy collection spread out over, over a lot of different boxes. Um, and this will show a little bit about the lore, I think. See, there's the actual old Lego club. This is in 2002, I believe kind of interesting to see this never opened that I can tell it was never opened get the poster that I remember this poster actually so I have this guy here I have all these characters here they're meant to be kind of swapped and everything there's even some software you get a goofy little poster this kid here can transform his arms into parts uh, the girl here can do the same just a really really interesting kit the robot is probably one of my favorites and I've got another one of him uh, that I'm going to order here soon. Uh, you know, pretty box art, but nothing, nothing amazing. But as you can see, it just simp it goes together so simply. But there's a there's a strength to these kits. A real a real uh, their their joints are so like tight. Now, one thing I'm noticing here is with this guy here, who is the same character. He has the claw hand. This one does not. Same paint job. And he, but his back pieces, now these could be the wrong back pieces. This one has it's like this bronze color on it from the front. This one does not. Now I'm getting confused which is the new one. This is the new one. Anyway, you can, you can put them wherever you can see how you can. Oh, there is one. That's weird. It's got one bronze piece, but the other one is not. Uh, some people, you could put them like this, like cod pieces, kind of. That looks kind of cool. Um, what I really like about these guys, again, oh, and then when you're done with these parts, you can just store them back here. Brilliant. I think you can. You should be able to. The rubber's a little bit, a little bit uh, janky. 
So you can do stuff like that. These things fire. Let's see if I can get it to fire here. Mm, somehow they fire. I remember having issues with these before. Anyway, those fire somehow. So you have one, two, three. Now this is a head for a different creature. There's the real head on the back. I have uh, a leg part that I'm missing here. Not missing, but it's in my collection somewhere. So there's three of them. That's the brand new one. Um, they're so sturdy too, you can drop these guys. So if you're one who has a collection and you're scared about dropping stuff, or if you drop stuff quite a bit, uh, even after you paint them off, or paint them up they they're really really sturdy they're not like a gundam kit where if i if i were to drop my custom gundam kit it's potentially and literally going to shatter in some parts even if you have it painted up and glued up really nicely um also the size on these guys is so wonderful they're they're larger than like a 1 100 scale uh, gundam kit um but they just look so cool so what's great is you can just simply take off their parts Break them down to basic, basic parts, and you can build um, whatever you want. So I could take the extra legs from over here, like this. Now where's the extra leg? Take the leg here. Then I can make a four-legged thing. Um, you could turn it over if you'd rather. I like this side though. You, there's actual connectors I have somewhere around here. Where's my connector? Anyway, I have a connector part that can go there and it can join up a character like this. So you can make a centaur looking dude. Really, really cool stuff. And that's just with two. So with five, you can imagine that I could have five times the length in these legs. And so I can make a great big spider creature or something. So that's going to be absolutely just a, a blast to play with. Anyway, that's just a quick unboxing and opening of my Galador Gorm figure. I've had these others for years. I don't remember when I bought them or how. <laughs> uh, so who knows? But I've got some more on order. Um, don't pick them up on eBay because I want them all. Uh, if you see any good ones or if you have any that you want to get rid of, please contact me on Twitter or uh, Facebook or whatever. Not Facebook, I'm sorry, on Twitch or uh, YouTube, um, and uh, enjoy. These guys are really, really cool. If you have any, go, if, you, if you're a model, or even if not, just go grab some, because they still are a really fantastic uh, toy to play with. I can't wait to get the other two in, in, I think I'm getting them today or tomorrow, so I'll post an updated video whenever I build my spider creation out of those. And uh, fantastic, I love these, I love these lines, th these lines from the 2000s, they, they were getting into kind of customization and weird parts and stuff and uh, I think eventually went into the, the other uh, Lego uh, creation type things. So I forget what they're called but they're kind of like Galador um, and a lot of kids like those so fantastic stuff I love customizing to uh, toys if you have any comments or questions about Galador if you remember Galador please leave a comment in the comment section there if it's, this is uh, posted on Twitch or anywhere else uh, let me know please subscribe like all that good stuff I'll talk to you all later have a good one, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.